Hello fellow problem solvers, so today we're going to be doing another number theory problem from Engel's Problem Solving Strategies book, chapter 6, problem 6, and I invite you to try this problem out for a minimum of 5 minutes, ideally 15, but not more than 25 minutes. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you give it a go for the next 2 minutes. And now without further ado, let's begin. So what we need to do is prove that 6 divides a plus b plus c, if and only if 6 divides a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. Now, there's many ways to go about this. One way that you might think of going about it is, okay, let me do 2 and 3 separately. Let me try this. If, say, this is divisible by 6, okay, what I can do is I can then, you know, cube this. Then a plus b plus c cubed is divisible by not just 6, it's divisible by 6 to the power of 3. And this is going to give me the a cubed, b cubed, c cubed. And then the rest I'll have free a b times a plus b plus 3 b c times b plus c plus 3 a c times a plus c and i'll have plus 6 a b c now this is divisible by 2 because if a and b are odd and this is even if one of them is even then it's divisible by 6 so 6 divides all of these which means it divides this now the converse you could look at okay if 6 divides this number right here, well then it divides this whole thing, and then it divides, like when you sum this, if 6 divides this, we know 6 divides this thing right here, and then from 6 divides A, 6 divides B, we have 6 divides A plus B, which in this case, if this is A, this is B, then this is going to be equal to A plus B plus C cubed, and now from A, 6 divides A plus B plus C cubed here you can infer that this implies 6 divides a plus b plus c and this is one way of proving this statement and the reason you can infer this also is because you have 2 divides a plus b plus c cubed which means a plus b plus c needs to be divisible by 2 and 3 divides this so a plus b plus c needs to be divisible by 3 otherwise how are you going to get the number divisible by 3 like if a plus b plus c isn't divisible by 2, then a plus b plus c to the power of anything is indivisible by 2. And same with if a plus b plus c isn't divisible by 3, then a plus b plus c to the power of anything is not divisible by 3. So that's how you can solve this one way. But the reason I wanted to show this to you is for a different way. And this is like you need to prove that a divides b if and only if a divides c. And to prove this, and this is what's mind-boggling to me. It is enough to prove that a divides b plus or minus c, like one of these. If you prove this, you've proven this. And that's absolutely insane. I mean, it's a shortcut. And here, the thing you would like to prove is that 6 divides a cubed minus 3 plus b cubed minus b plus c cubed minus c. And now, what's the thing? We need to prove this. Like, it's a question if this is true. If we prove this, we're done. And also, this has to be, if this is true, then this is true. But also, if this is true, then this, like we have two things from one. So this is an easier thing to prove. We could also do like, I think, can we do plus here? No, plus would not. If we prove that A divides this plus See, yeah, that, yeah, that's also true. Like, what am I saying? Or is it, wait, that's n cubed plus n. That's n times n squared plus 1. This isn't going to be divisible by 3. So, huh, interesting. But anyways, this thing right here, we actually can prove. And how are we going to prove this? Well, this is true if and only if 6 divides a, a minus 1, a plus 1, b, b minus 1, b plus 1, c, c minus 1, c plus 1. But here's saying 6 divides this. Because these are, it's divisible by 2 because these are three consecutive integers multiplied together. So 1 is divisible by 2, 1 by 3, and ergo their whole product by 6. And this, because this is true, then we know that if one of these is true, then so is the other one. And that solves our problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.